Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to set up Facebook Pixel for view content event. So without wasting any time, let's see how we can do it. So we'll be setting up view content event for this website. So if someone view any of these products, then I want to track view content event. Okay. So this is a WordPress CMS and I have shown in the previous videos how to enable data layer on WordPress. So if you haven't watched the video yet, I would suggest you to watch the video first, then enable data layer and then come to this video. Okay. And additionally, I have set up Google Tag Manager account, you know, and also set up Facebook base pixel. Okay. So I have already created a video on it, how to create Facebook base pixel. Okay. So I would suggest you to watch this video first and we'll be setting up view content event by using a template. So if you go to the template section, then you'll see I have installed a template called Facebook pixel. So if you haven't installed the uh, template i'd suggest you to install it from the search gallery section okay perfect so first of all for creating view content event i will make all the necessary variables first then i will create all the triggers and at the last i'll create the tags okay so i'll be creating these four variables actually uh, content type is by default product content name content id is value and currency okay so let's create those variable first okay so i'll be collecting those four variables from the data layer sections so that's why i need to click on preview section and i'm gonna create a data layer variable by using the data layer so i'm gonna click on connect Just wait a little bit. So if I click on one of the products, then you will see view content event is firing. View content means view item. So I'm gonna click on view item, then I'll go to the data layer section. So you can see over here, the data layer is available here. So we can uh, create variables from this data layer, okay? So first of all, we'll create variables for which one? Content name. Content name is basically item name or product name. Content ID is basically product ID or item ID value and currency okay so let's create content name or item name first okay so for creating content name or item name i'll be using this one so you can see e-commerce so under e-commerce we have items so I will write it this in this way. So I'm going to copy e-commerce from here. Then I'll put a dot because e-commerce is an object. So for an object, we basically use dot. Okay. So e-commerce dot items. Then I'm going to put dot again. Then I'm going to take item name. Okay. So I'm going to put zero dot item name. Okay. So zero is basically uh, items is an array and and array's index start from zero okay that's why we have taken zero so uh, this is for uh, content name or product name or item name so this is the variable for 
I might write item, sorry. Item name. Okay, perfect. Then I'm gonna create another data layer variable for item ID. So I'm gonna write item ID. Then those section will be same. E-commerce dot item dot zero. Then from the data layer section, I'll take item ID. Okay, perfect. And value, then currency. Okay, perfect. So for collecting value, I'll be using this on e-commerce dot items. So price is basically value for view content or view item, you know. So I'm going to copy this section because this section will be same for all of the data layer variables. So I'm going to copy e-commerce dot item dot zero. And I'm going to take price, okay? Perfect. So for currency, I will take e-commerce dot currency, you know? So e-commerce is an object and currency is inside the object. So e-commerce dot currency. So I'm going to write e-commerce dot I'm going to copy currency from here. Currency is over here. Okay. So I'm going to copy currency from here and paste it over here. So we have created uh, all the necessary variables for view content event. Okay. So let's go to the variable section. and create all the data layer variables. So I'm going to go to the user defined variable section and I'm going to click on new and I will name it as item name TLV. Then I'm going to click on variable configuration as data layer variable and I'm going to copy this from here commerce dot item dot zero dot item name so this will be used as data layer variable name so i need to copy it again somehow it okay perfect i'm gonna click on save then I'll click on new and create another data layer variable for item ID DLV. Then I'm going to click on variable configuration and choose data layer variable from here. And I'm going to use this value from here e-commerce dot items dot zero dot item ID. So I'm going to paste it over here and click on save. I'll click on new and name the variable as item value. Then I'm going to click on variable configuration and choose data layer from here and go to the translate section and copy this. e-commerce dot item dot zero dot price so this will be used as data layer variable for item value okay i'm gonna click on save and i need to create create another data layer variable for currency so i'm gonna write item currency and I'll click on variable configuration and choose data layer variable from here and 
copy this e-commerce.currency from here and paste it in the data layer variable name section and i'm going to click on save okay perfect so we have created all the necessary variables for view content event then i'll go to the trigger section and if i go to the translate section then if you are on the view item event then you will see the event name as view item so i'm gonna use this exact naming sequence okay so i'll click on new and name the trigger as view item or view content i might write view content because view item is used as view content for facebook or meta then i'm gonna choose custom event and I'm gonna paste view item over here. Okay, perfect. Then I'll click on save. So our trigger has all, also been created. Now I'll go to the track section and I need to copy the pixel ID. Okay, so I'm gonna paste it over here. Perfect. So it would be better if I create a constant variable for the pixel, okay? Because I need to reuse it time and time again. So I'm gonna create a constant variable, a B pixel. Perfect. Then a variable configuration, I'm gonna choose constant. Then I'm gonna enter the pixel ID over here. I'll click on save. Okay, then I'll go to the tag section. I'll create a tag for Facebook view content event. So I'm gonna write Facebook view content. Okay, then as the tag configuration, I'm gonna choose Facebook pixel. So this is the template I have installed. So I need to give the Facebook ID is pixel id actually so i have created a data uh, sorry constant variable for facebook pixel so i'm going to choose it from here then from the standard section i'm going to choose view content okay perfect and from the object properties i'm going to add some property name okay so we'll be using those property so first one is event name so I'm gonna copy it from here and paste it over here and the property value would be view content, okay? Because our event name is view content. So I'm gonna use view content over here. Then as the content type, I'm gonna be giving as product so this will be used as our second property name and as the property value i'm gonna give product okay perfect so you can get those parameters names from this documentation actually so if you write standard parameters then you will get this documentation link okay then you can collect those values from here perfect then the next property name would be content name so i'm going to copy content name from here and as the content name i'll be using product name or item name so i have created a data layer variable for item name dlb so i'm going to choose it from here the next one is content ids so i'm going to give the property name as content ids and i have created a data layer variable for item id so i'm going to choose item id from here and i'll be copying the value and give it as property name and the value would be item price because i have or item value so i have created a data layer variable with the name of item value so i'm going to choose item value from here and as the last property name, I'm going to be giving it as currency and I'll click on this and choose item currency from here. Okay. So we have given all the property name and their values. Okay. 
then I need to select the trigger. So I have already created a trigger with the name of view content. So I'm going to choose view content from here and I'll click on save. Okay, perfect. So we have created Facebook view content tag. So let's see whether this tag fires or not, this tag works or not. So for checking whether it is working or not, I'll click on preview section. Okay, just wait a little bit. I'm gonna click on continue. Then if I choose one of the products, You can see over here facebook view content event is firing okay so if i go to the view content section and go to the variable section then you can see over here item currency is usd item id is 349 item value is 150 so if i go to the item section then you can see the value of this item is 150 you know and the item name is dark brown jeans so if i go to the item name dlv then you can see item brown jeans okay so everything is working fine everything is working properly so this is how we can set up facebook view content event you know so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye